Hello guys, and welcome to a another mock review. This time, we are taking a look at a World War One or World War Two era trench. I really haven't decided yet, um, but the helmets on the Americans are World War Two, so I guess we could say World War II. Um And right now, I'm just giving you a visual of the back of the German trench. Um looks pretty chaotic. I was originally going to do a stop motion on this, um, but the problem was that I kept having technical difficulties with the program that I make my stop motions on. Um, it has some serious difficulties uh, working unless you pay money for it, so I'm going to figure that out later. Um, but now I can give you an overview of this trench. Um, so it's the Americans over here and the Germans over here as you can probably see. So over in the German trench we have some um, barbed wire metal barricade there and exploded Neville Warfer with some um, dead men out there that must have been exploded by either a rocket shell or an airstrike or whatever. Um, and go into the trench itself. We have a very important looking officer standing in the back. We have two riflemen, one machine gunner, two riflemen, one machine gunner, and then the head officer. Uh, he's looking over at the other officer there. So we cross into no man's land here. We've got some uh, uh, dead troops um, out in no man's land, some skeletons with helmets, and then one. Uh, no, two, actually, actual minifigures. Um, and then we have some fire pieces, you know, uh, looks pretty apocalyptic. And then we have a dead tree. We have a few, uh, weeds spread across as well. We go to the American Trench, which is much smaller, but, um, the detailing on the inside of it is probably better. Um... I originally only had this trench, and it was only this trench um, fighting across all the way, but then I figured it wouldn't be a trench battle without two trenches. But this is the original one. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, we have a bunch of uh, Americans hiding behind with their rifles. They're in no particular order. Um, and there's some steps up here. If I pull away... These guys, you can see I did a little bit of uh, rock work, I guess you could say, on the uh, trench there. And it looks pretty good, I'd say. Um, except I ran out of those uh, brown log-like... Whoop! I ran out of those brown log-like pieces. Um, so I kind of had to stop and start using solid pieces, which aren't as much fun. Um... But then there's a bin on each side, and this side it's more um, barbed wire. But on the other side, it's like some lugers and stick grenades and other stuff. Um, but there's another really good view of the trench. Um, it looks pretty darn epic, I gotta say. Um, just the... Uh, oh, jeez. Sorry, this camera is really messed up. Um, I'm filming on a tablet, and it's really hard to get a wide shot, um, but there's the best I can do for a wide shot. It looks really cool when the guys are charging across it, you know, um, but it's a pretty cool mock. I worked on it for a while. I kind of ran out of pieces, which is why it looks more rough over there. Um, there's not as much texture. You know, it's gray, well as over here it's brown and tan. The brown tan definitely works a lot better, but I ran out of tan plates. Um, so I kind of <laughs> had to stop there. Um, I may continue to edit this. Um, but yeah, this is a really good looking uh, mock. I actually need to uh, put those figures back on, so I'll actually put this camera in my little uh, Lego stand here. And you will see me putting the minifigures back. Put it there. Oh yeah, this guy was back here. He is the commander. Um, you can tell by his utility belt. 
And we have the American Heavy Gunner. So, yeah, that's basically what the American Trench Line looks like. And then we just kind of do a pan shot here. That looks really cool with the with the Germans over here. I want to put this um, straight across, but the problem is when I do that, the chain sags um, on the sandbank, which I don't want. Um, woo! Uh-oh. It's all coming apart. Yeah, some of these, I was really getting down to the end of some of these plates right about there, which is why I have such tiny plates that are just going to fall off. Um, you can tell I changed from the gray base plate to the brown base plate as an extension for this trench. Um, so, none of this, none of this trench was originally here. It was just the no man's land in that trench. Um, but I decided to add this on because it would... Uh, add to the size and to the strength of it. Um, but again, you can probably tell this is set up as like a studio, and I set it up so the trenches were all accessible and I could get a camera in there. But it's really hard to, one, it's really hard to move the figures around in here because the trench is really small, so this guy could keep bumping into the, you know, I guess he could like walk to the side or something. Um, it Gills for cool head movements, and then I'd move the fire pieces back and forth between shots, and that looked really good. Um, but the stop motion app I'm using, Pick Pack, um, it was really frustrating. I was working on it, and I'd been working on it for about 15 or 20 minutes, um, but, you know, it just, uh, it wasn't coming out quite right. And I tried having an explosion, like a uh, missile that would like drop in here and boom. And it caught my hand in one shot, and I couldn't delete it without having to restart the entire stop motion unless I paid $4.69 to get Pro, which is just outrageous. You shouldn't have to, um, you know, pay money just to delete a photo that you didn't like in your stop motion. That's just ridiculous. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to find another stop motion app. Um, I tried Koma Koma on here. I really like Koma Koma. Um, that's a really good stop motion app. I love it, but I can't get it on this tablet. So I'm gonna try and find a, another worthy app, um, that I will, that will be able to work a lot better. Um, my channel shout out of the day. Gosh, I got to think about this one because... I really <laughs> just kind of donged on me. I forgot to uh, do the channel shout out. Um, let's see, what's the channel? Oh yes, MPM Brick Studios. Um, I believe he has around 500 subscribers. His content is really good. He builds um, a lot of custom uh, mock builds. He posts about every couple of weeks. He has really good videos. Wind appreciated, so go ahead and check his channel out. Um, but that will be it for you guys. Um, for you guys, <laughs> excuse me. Um, but I also wanted to announce, um, I guess this is, would kind of be my 10 subscriber special, except that I've met 13 subscribers now, uh, as of filming this video. Um, so I, I didn't really make a 10 subscriber special because the time had passed pretty fast. Um, I'll, I think I'll make a video when I hit 50 subscribers. I think that's what I'll do. Um, but until then, guys, I will see you on the next one.